Self-Improvement 101, Meditation or Deep Breathing. Welcome to part two of the series. If you haven't seen part one, I'll leave the link up here. If not, well, let's get right back into it. Meditation or deep breathing. Whatever you wanna call it, it's the same basic idea. It's focusing on your breath and trying to stay in the present moment. For everybody trying this for the first time, start small. Begin with just a couple minutes, whatever works best for you during the day, and use that time to solely focus on your breathing. For me personally, I like to sit in a darker room. I sit in a chair. Um, you can do it any way you like. I just find if I lay down, there's a chance that I might fall asleep. And when I started off, again, I started with two minutes and just did that to go. You can add time. You don't have to. I personally have and do, but not to the point where it becomes excessive. The longest time that I've done consistently is 10 minutes at a time. If I go longer than that, there's always a chance I could fall asleep. Um, if I go shorter than that, it doesn't change too, too much. I just like to have those minutes set aside so I can do it for that amount of time. Again, this is person to person. This is my experience. Another mini tip for me personally, when I do my breathing, I think one, when breathing in, and I think two, when breathing out. You can do that. You can also think in, breathing in, and out, breathing out, or you don't have to do any of those. I find for me, it works better when I bring the attention to my breath, be accounting one, two. You, you don't have to do it though. It's just something that might help. I still do it to this day, but I've noticed that I stop thinking it not that long into breathing. It's kind of just when I first start and I sit down, close my eyes, and I start the few first few times, I'm thinking one, two, one, two. And before I know it, I've stopped doing that, and I'm just naturally focused on inhaling and exhaling. So again, mini tip, it might help, it might not. Try it or don't. As with anything self-improvement related, you want to know what is the point of doing any habit, and specifically for this one, what's the benefit? For me, I've noticed that it helps me stay in the present moment more often than not. Meaning, I'm not preoccupied or thinking about random ideas, schedules, worries throughout the day. Yes, they come around, but I don't focus on them. I'm more in the moment, focused on what I'm doing right, right now. So right now, I'm talking to you guys. In reality, I'm talking to my phone, but either way, this is my focus. I'm not worrying about what I have to do tomorrow. I'm not worrying about what's coming up on the weekend. I'm here in the moment doing what I do. That's the biggest upside for me because when I stay here and now, my mind wanders less. And in doing so, I found that I enjoy simple things and think about the simple things in life more often. That might sound cliche, but I think to myself like, I have a home, I have a family, I have a job, I have friends, I have a car, stuff like that. There's a lot of people in the world right now that don't have those things, that have less than those things. And it makes me think about that and it makes me appreciate what I have more. Now, if you're someone who's like, well, I don't care about other people, <laughs> fair enough. This might not help you, but for me, it has made a difference. It makes me appreciate what I have rather than, you know, bitching about what I don't have. So take that as you will. Another part of that is my life seems to go through a somewhat positive filter. So it's not excessive, but kind of think of it in this light. Instead of having a bad day, that bad day becomes a not good day. A normal day becomes a pretty good day. And a good day becomes a great day. 
So when you add those things up, it might make enough of a difference for you that you might think more positively about your life in general. It might not, but there's potential that it could. I feel the difference is noticeable if you're someone who has primarily just okay days, because those okay days might become good days. And before you know it, the good outweighs the bad, and overall you might just have a more positive outlook on life. Keep in mind that this is my anecdotal evidence. This is my personal experience. It might be the same for you. It might not. It's probably going to be at least somewhat different. It, everything varies person to person. We have to keep that in mind. So take it as you will. The thing I would say is, for me, I have no cons. There's no reasons not to do this. You don't spend any money, and you spend very minimal amount of time at the very least building this habit. The one thing I could see is someone thinking of it in more of a chore, like, oh, I have to do this because I have to get it done. Yeah, that might make it a chore for you, and I understand if you don't want to do it for that reason. Again, that's not my experience. So, to me, there's no cons. If you haven't tried doing a form of meditation or deep breathing in the past, I would recommend giving it a go. At the very worst, there's no change. And at the very best, maybe you have more positive changes in your life than I did. You don't lose anything to give it a go. So that's what I'll leave you with. If you guys liked the video, feel free to leave a like. If you dislike the video, dislike it, but let me know what I can improve on in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, we'll see you later. Take it easy.